Hi there. I just want to quickly go over how to start a corporation in Michigan. Um, this tutorial is just going to go over the general filing process and link throughout are a few other functions such as a business entity search or filing such as the filing of an articles of incorporation. Um, and in those tutorials, we'll, we'll go into further detail as to what is required step by step. But this is just, we'll just talk through it here and give you a general idea of what's involved. So there's no online filing process or filing portal on the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs website. Therefore, you're going to have to download the PDF of your filing form and submit it to the government offices uh, in the mail, by fax, by email. Now, if you file using those last two options, fax or email, you're going to need to create what's called a MISH ELF account, um, where you'll be submitting some basic information about yourself as an applicant and provide your credit card information so you can pay the filing fee in this manner. Uh, if you plan on filing through the mail, you're going to need to attach uh, a check or money order made out to the sec uh, to the state of Michigan, and uh, send that in the mail to the to their offices. Now, uh, profit entities, uh, foreign profit entities, will need to pay um, sixty dollars, while domestic corporations, uh, new profit domestic corporations, citizens will have their filing fees based on uh, the amount of shares that uh, they are authorized to issue. So we have uh, the table here for the exact breakdown of that and then all other entities a nonprofit and ecclesiastical i'm pretty sure that's how you say it um will be charged twenty dollars now how does one file first thing you need to do or you don't really need to do it but it's always recommended and it only takes a second and is free is a business entity search just making sure that your corporate name uh, has not already been filed by another business entity in Michigan. You can also reserve your entity name for a period of six months if you're a corporation. It only costs you $10, so it doesn't really hurt much. Um, click on either one of these links, you're going to get a free tutorial on how to do both those things. Uh, with the name prepared, you'll be able to download and complete your filing form. Uh, click either on the domestic or the foreign corporation to learn more about what goes into each corporation um, registration process. But let's just say that you download the PDF, open it on your computer, submitted all the information, and now you're, you're sitting there with it done on your computer. You're going to need to print it off, provide whatever signatures they ask of you, and then send it to the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. And we got the address here if you plan on sending it by the mail. Uh, those submitting by fax can pay uh, by credit card and send it to this number, or those uh, submitting by email can also pay by credit card through their MISH ELF account and uh, send it to this address. Now, the MISH ELF account is uh, it's essentially what it sounds like. You're just sending your uh, application to the uh, Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs to update them with uh, your credit card information and your applicant information so that they can charge you. Um, and you can also provide uh, this cover sheet whenever you do file so that they uh, are able to get a decent amount of information uh, from you as well. That way you can pay um, by fax or you can pay by email in just a matter of minutes. Uh, a few things to do during or after filing. If you um, are a new corporation, there's a very good chance you need to apply for an employer identification number. Uh, this is issued by the IRS. Um, to keep track of all employers across the United States uh, just so they can more e easily identify them when they're reporting withheld taxes. Um, if you click here, you're going to get a tutorial on how to apply both online and through the form SS4. Now, our corporate bylaw is an internal agreement that does not need to be filed with uh, the state government. Instead, uh, it should be filed within the entity to relay all the rights and the duties of the corporate officials and uh, relate all logistical and financial affairs that wouldn't otherwise be documented. It's essentially a blueprint for how you plan on organizing your uh, business's internal affairs. So if you click on this link here, you are going to get a free template uh, in Microsoft Word and Adobe PDF. And even if you don't plan on using our template or even drafting a corporate bylaw, at least take a look at what might go into one of these documents. And then you can probably see why there's such a, it's such an essential um, organizational tool for a corporation. Finally, renewal corporations are required to renew each year with the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. Um, 
This can be done online. It's kind of the only thing that can be done online, at least at this time. Um, and profit corporations will be submitting a an annual report by the 15th of May of each year. That's just going to provide pretty much the same in information that was on the initial formation documents. Uh, it's just updating the state government of any major structural changes that may have happened. And it's going to cost $25 as well for for-profit corporations. Nonprofit entities uh, must submit their report by the 1st of October and will only be required to pay $20. So you can click on this link here to gain access to the uh, file online portal, or you can download this PDF, and that will give you the opportunity to request the annual report forms. All right, so that is generally how you file it. Uh, a corporation with the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. Uh, again, click on the links found throughout. You're going to get a more detailed explanation of exactly what to do. All right. Goodbye, guys.